So welcome back to another episode of Dun Dun Dun. So in the previous episode, we had probably my favorite episode so far because I'm really enjoying the rom com -y, character based episodes a lot. I feel like they're really, really good. They're really fun. I'm loving seeing the relationship grow between Momo and Okarun. Uh, also, I have a feeling that Iri is going to be a bit... I think that's her name, right? Iri? Ira? I think it's Iri. Um, she's a really interesting character as well. So I have a feeling that she, we are going to grow to like her a lot. I feel like she definitely is on a bit of a redemption arc right now because her um, introduction to the series was definitely rough. But I feel like, yeah, she's on a bit of a redemption arc here. Uh, so it's going to be cool to see. I feel like her friends or uh, Momo's friends there got absolutely obliterated. There's no way they're surviving that. Um, and yeah, and yeah, they're now fighting a big curse uh, yokai thingy that uh, has had a horrible backstory, actually, when... Iri, little Iri mistook her for like her mom, right? That was, and ever since then, she was like, she was stalking her. That's just really sad, really, really sad. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's see where this episode goes. I have a feeling it's going to be a bit of a pop-off episode, so I'm excited for it. Anyways, uh, if you guys want to watch this, Uncut and Unblurred, it's going to be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Dun Dun Dun, episode 7. Is this the yokai? Dude, the animation! Whoa! That was sick! I- oh, I think it is the yokai, yeah. Aira. Okay, it's not Airi, it's Aira. Whoa! Oh, she's alive, okay. Yo, oh, she's gonna get Tokyo Gold! She's dropping a beam on her. Never mind, she's fine. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Ooh. Oh wait, he his head is back. I think. His hair looked black. Oh why you stand like that? I mean she has a really sad story. The yokai Masticate? Momo, it's Momo, it's Momo, it's Momo. Of course. Oh my god. You can't let go of the things that you ensnared. <laughs> I feel like that's actually. Oh, <laughs> I'm. I pa wait. Uh, the camera is not focused. I paused at the wrong moment. Uh, yeah. But I feel like that's a really cool thing that she said. That you you can't let go of the things that you ensnare. I feel like that's um very well. I feel like that that's a play on her personality that she's not letting go of the thing that happened in the past. That's actually really cool. Hmm. Cool writing. I respect that. Oh, 
Fair enough. Yeah, he was good at running away up until now. Oh my god! Oh my... Oh my science! Saru! Yo! Head smash! He actually head smashed her? That's sick. Science Saru, man. That was a sick animation. You wicked. Oh, dude. This just looks stunning. I could just watch this purely for the animation. One of your attacks. Oh, I guess because it's through Okarun, right? Okarun is using her power. Yo, he's dying. <laughs> she dead? Oh, oh my god. I mean, they're bringing her back. They're bringing her back. I have no doubt in my mind that she's gonna be alive somehow. Yeah. No, I have no doubt. To a kinder world? No, you're not tricking me. She's gonna survive. I know she's like an important character in the, sh in the series. Everyone keeps hyping her up. There's no way she just dies like this. Mumu's friends, though, I believe that they're dead. Oh, it's like... It's like Sakura in Naruto. Hmm. She's gonna get some kind of power and she's gonna get resurrected by it. At least that's my guess. Is she gonna take in her power? Maybe. Okay. Yep. Like a battery for organisms. Okay. Awfully co cooperative. Interesting. So yes. Oh, oh my god, this animation is so cool. Oh, 
interesting. Oh my god, man. This looks so good. Oh, I see. <sighs> it's the dress that she's wearing right now, right? Or the, the yokai was wearing. <sighs> the art, man. Oh, dude, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. It's time to stop. <sighs> nope. Stop. I know exactly what you're doing and it's cruel and I don't like it because I'm gonna cry. This is stunningly done, though. Way too stunningly done. The cinematography in this is insane. No. Stop.
तू अर्ध आहे दिसत आहे का लावून आहोत ओ माय गॉड See that's why she's that Oh my god Oh That's why she's walking like this Oh my f- Okay What? Did she take out a loan? I didn't see that Or why was she um assaulted? That's cruel. Uh, Ira. Oof. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck off, you can't be doing this to me in this episode, man. I see, that's why she's the way that she is. She wants to be the best for her mom, not the best for her. So, okay, so the way that I see that is, so she kind of knew that she lost something, right, in the past, and when she saw Ira and, like, everything with Ira there, she kind of linked, she filled that memory, that, the blank memory that she had, and replaced her own daughter with Ira in it, right? That's why she was so obsessed with Ira, is because she kind of replaced her memory of her daughter with Ira, um, and yeah, she was, ever since then, she was obsessed with her. That makes sense. The my my question is, I wonder if the girl who was actually her daughter is still alive. Like my initial thought was Momo, right? Because I mean she kind of looked like her, but um, I don't think that would make too much sense. Um, so I wonder if she's still alive, and I wonder who it is. And there's no way that if she's still alive, that we're not gonna be seeing her, right? I feel like that was foreshadowing that we're gonna be seeing her in the future. At least I hope. I think that would be really cool. But um, I guess we'll see. Oh, interesting. That dude, that was such a sad story. Okay, I'm glad that nothing happened to the kid, like at least on screen, because that would have been horrible. But um shit, that was horrible. Yeah, as I said, I wonder did she take a loan? Uh I don't remember seeing her taking a loan. I thought that she bought the dress from her own money, right? Uh from the envelope that was her own pay. 
what else? I mean, I guess the business, the nightlife business, uh, is very sketchy. So maybe it's just something from there. Oh, did she see the story? Oh, she saw the backstory. Horrible. I really like Ira. I really like Ira. Stop! Don't say that. Oh. Mm, fuck off. What a cruel episode, man. Oh, it almost got me. Almost. I was so close. I'm so happy that nothing happened to the kid. Otherwise, I feel like that, that would have been that would have been the tipping point. <laughs> um, wow, what a stunning episode. Absolutely stunning episode. Um, yeah, I can see why people are saying this is gonna be like the best episode so far. Uh, a lot of people were hyped for this episode, yeah, and I can see why. Um, because I thought it was gonna be like some really insane action episodes, something like that. And I was like, you know what? I kind of prefer the character-driven episodes um, in Dan the Dan. So I wasn't... I thought that this episode is going to be um, not as good as the previous one for me personally. But, hey, this was the most character-driven episode that you can get. I love it. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is my favorite episode so far. Not purely from the narrative standpoint, or not just from the narrative standpoint, but also animation in this episode. I mean, it always has been insane, but like all of the POV shots that they were doing, all of the um, cinematography and the, um, the camera work in this was absolutely insane. Just insane. Um, the change up in style between like the entire sequence in the back, uh, flashback and then the change into her POV when she was on the streets where the art style completely changed because her, obviously, her vision, the way that she viewed the world was completely different from what we were seeing it as a viewer. Um, also... One thing that I absolutely 
loved <laughs> um, was the entire thing with Ira being like, up until now, she always seemed like just a completely narcissistic girl who was being like, obviously, very narcissistic, very complacent, very like, oh, I'm the best, um, having a huge superiority complex, right? But now we see that it wasn't that she was narcissistic because she genuinely thought that she was better than everyone else. The reason that she is the way that way is because she wants she wants to be the best for when her mom for her mom right she like wants to pr show her mom that she is the best she is better than everyone she is the best daughter that she could be right ooh ooh this makes me ooh emotional even just talking about it what a banger of a character I absolutely love Ira. <laughs> I feel like I 180'd. <laughs> or I didn't 180 because in the previous episode I was like, oh, I feel like uh, she's winning me over. This episode, she completely, completely won me over. Uh, yeah, what an incredible episode, man. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Insane. Insanely good. So yeah, I wonder if the daughter of the actual yokai is gonna play a role in the story. I feel like I feel like it's too good of a character or it's too good of a plot point to not you know show her in the future because we didn't see that she got like killed or anything i think it just got she just got kidnapped for money or whatever right so yeah um also it didn't seem like it was that collection necessarily if they i don't think that collectors uh actually take the kid unless you i guess if you i don't know i, I genuinely that's the one thing that i'm um wondering about is who were those guys why did they did she take a loan from the Yakuza or something? Is that what happened? I don't know. But yeah, either way. Um, either way. It was a banger of an episode. Uh, incredibly, incredibly sad. Incredibly emotional. But also just incredible in general. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.